This place is surrounded by 21 different countries in the Mediterranean region. Now, imagine if these 21 countries and the rest of the world somehow managed to drain all the water from the sea. Firstly, this idea is not as impossible as you might think. In the 1920s, there was a concept proposed by a man named Hermes, which was called the Atlantropa Project. The plan was to dry up the Mediterranean by blocking the Strait of Gibraltar and the Dardanelles, but it was never implemented. The main reason for the project's cancellation was the fact that the Mediterranean contains salt water, and if the sea were to dry up, it would leave behind salty soil, which is not suitable for agriculture. Additionally, some engineers calculated that there wasn't enough concrete to build the necessary dam at the Strait of Gibraltar. Another factor that played a role in the project's abandonment was the need for international cooperation. Furthermore, the citizens of the 21 countries along the Mediterranean coast would have been greatly affected as they would no longer have access to the sea, which is an integral part of their lives. The planners also failed to consider how the construction of the dam at the Strait of Gibraltar would be vulnerable to a possible nuclear bomb attack, which could result in the loss of millions of lives. They also did not account for how it would impact the atmospheric circulation patterns over Europe and Africa. Returning to the topic at hand, if the Mediterranean were somehow drained, what would happen in the world? Firstly, the entire region that was previously covered by the sea would most likely turn into an scorching hot, vast desert. Enormous canyons would form, reaching depths of up to 5,000 meters, where the temperature would soar to an unrelenting 80 degrees Celsius even if all the water in the Mediterranean disappeared. The layers of salt previously contained within the water would remain. The exposed land would become a salty, dry, and harsh desert rendering it inhospitable for any form of life or settlement. This could also be seen as the expansion of the Sahara Desert in Africa. However, the desertification wouldn't stop there. The vast regions of southern Europe and Turkey would instantly transform into deserts as well. Portugal, Spain, France, Italy, Albania, Greece, and Turkey would be the most severely affected. The Alps and the Balkans would receive significantly less rainfall, resulting in significant damage to agriculture throughout Europe and widespread drought. Moreover, the excessive water that was once in the Mediterranean would have to go somewhere, causing the sea levels worldwide to rise by approximately 10 meters. This would be catastrophic for cities such as Los Angeles, New York, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, and Shanghai, as they would be submerged underwater. Predicting the impact on the atmosphere is extremely challenging. And it's nearly impossible to anticipate how the destruction of a massive water body like the Mediterranean would affect the global climate. One thing is certain, it would not be favorable. In the event of the disappearance of the Mediterranean, there are numerous different and possible scenarios, and it is difficult to obtain a definitive answer. In this video, I have made a few simplifying assumptions to discuss the topic. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Take care and goodbye.